Hey everyone, Edward here and welcome to Windows Report. And in this video, I will show you how to fix the error your channel options will be limited on Windows 11. The first solution that you should definitely take in consideration is to enable TPM and Secure Boot in BIOS. Even though I'm showing you the solution on Windows 11, the procedure is similar if not identical on Windows 10. So what you have to do is click the Windows button, then type in Recovery Options which you will also select from the search result. In here, under the Advanced Startup category, make sure to click on the Restart Now button which will take you to a basic boot menu. Now select the Troubleshoot option, then navigate to Advanced Options and lastly choose the UEFI Firmware Settings option. You should now boot into the UEFI mode, so in here the menus can differ depending on your device. Usually the TPM enabling option is found in the Security tab, so just navigate to that and try to find and enable the TPM option. Similarly, head over to the Boot options and enable Secure Boot and once you fulfill these two changes, just exit and save accordingly to the UEFI architecture of your device and the aforementioned error should be gone. And another useful solution is to enable the dev channel with Windows Registry Hacks. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in Reg Edit and select Registry Editor from the search result. In here, navigate to the following location. H key Local Machine, then Software, then Microsoft, then Windows Self Host, then UI, and lastly, Selection. Now double-click on the UI branch and change its value to Dev. Then double-click the UI content type and change its value to Mainline. And lastly, double-click the UI ring and change its value to External. Now you have to navigate to the following path, then Windows Self Host and Applicability. In here, find the branch name key, double-click it and change its value to Dev, then find Content Type, double-click it and change its value to Mainline, and lastly, find the ring key. Double-click it and change its value to external. Finally, close the registry editor and restart your PC and you should no longer be getting any channel errors. And that's it. Pretty easy, isn't it? As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.